Hi, I'm Gypsy. I'm Chelsea. And we're a part of Moda 2000. Here at Moda 2000, we have hundreds of clients finding their dream dress every day. We have anything from quinceanera, sweet 16, your homecoming, prom, and bridal dresses. Make sure to stick around to watch a preview of our new show, Quince Bosses! Alyssa was our first quinceanera on My Dream Quinceanera, and as you can see, the store had no dresses, no inventory whatsoever as to what it has now. Okay, honey, look, this is champagne and that one is off-white. So you're going to see the difference between them. This is a little bit more darker mm -hmm. than that one. Can I talk to you real quick? Yeah. Can you give me a second? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Thank you. You know, I'm really liking the dresses here. Like, they're really pretty, but I'm just not finding a dress for me that okay. I want. So you don't like none of the dresses right now that are on display? No. No? Okay. But luckily, Alyssa trusted us, and she was able to find her dream dress. She ordered it from a catalog, and when it came in, it was exactly what she envisioned. Wearing this dress, I feel amazing. I feel like a princess in it, and I'm excited to show it off to everyone. So up next, we have Gianna, and Gianna was a really picky client. It took her multiple visits to find her dream dress, and when she did find it, this happened. How does it feel? Like, it's really heavy. I'm not, I don't know about the dances, because... You're gonna take out your tambalons with your dress. <laughs> the dress, as I walked more in it, I realized it's super heavy. I never thought about how much, like, the swaying power of it would be, but now I'm kind of nervous because it's a big responsibility and I'm scared I'm gonna fall or something's gonna go wrong. Oh! <laughs> oh, I love that dress, though. Yeah, it was a really pretty dress. Oh, yeah, beauty is pain. A big dress means marks on your stomach from all the petticoats. You had three petticoats, right? I had, yeah, I wore three petticoats because I was so small. But I mean, just get used to it, practice. Practice makes perfect. Yeah. And you're only in it for one day, so Enjoy you know. It. <laughs> it's you and me! Oh my god. Up next, we have Zoe, and she made the big mistake of ordering her dress online through an unknown seller. Don't do that. And this is what she got. Not well, the right dress. Right I told you guys not to get it online. We've had girls that order them off, like, I don't know what website, but the dress comes like a little doll dress and not a yeah. quinceanera dress. Yeah. Just don't do it. I know like it, it might be cheaper online, but there's a reason why it's so cheap. Yeah. So just don't do it. And it's not the same quality as having like a sales rep guide you. That's exactly why we started Moda 2000, so everybody could have the feeling of trying on a princess dress. And even if you can't come to our store, we do have online sales reps that will actually guide you and not just leave you alone to finding the dress, they'll guide you on choosing your perfect dress. It's very important to know where you're buying the dress from, who's selling it to you, where it's coming from. So don't just buy off any random website. Make sure that you're getting exactly what you're seeing online. Oh, that's beautiful. You look just like Belle. Which one do you like the best? I really like the red one. Mom. You like the red dress? Yeah, I really like the red dress, but you don't like it. <laughs> yeah, but I'm not the one that's going to be wearing it. You are. And if you like it. Yeah, I, I want that one because like, that's like the one that's going to look the best. So Zoe's quince was only two weeks away and she gave us that challenge and it was a really big challenge because at that time nobody wanted a yellow dress. So unfortunately Zoe left that day disappointed not able to find her dream dress. Is it about the dress or something? It is about the dress but instead of telling you here I want you to read it to read this. Dear Zoe, we heard about your special day coming up and know how excited you are to have a Beauty and the Beast quinceanera. When we found out that you couldn't get the dress you wanted, we went to all lengths to find the gown. And we're so excited to present this to you as an early birthday gift from us. When she did come back to the store, we were able to get her a Disney collection quinceanera Belle inspired dress. Did they get my dress? <laughs> they got you a dress. <laughs> oh my god. I think now it's different. There's so many girls yeah, that come in looking for yellow dresses. Color. Yeah, because of Beauty and the Beast. Mm -hmm. It's such a popular theme. But I mean, she is, she's goals. She got like a legit Belle inspired dress. So that's really cool. Yeah. How beautiful. Look at my princess. So Mommy, do you like it? This is a hundred times better than the red yeah, dress. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs>
So up next we have Kenya and she came in store with her uncle, her mom, and her grandma and they all had different opinions. They all wanted her to try on different styles. So it was interesting. She tried on like so many different styles that it just was like so different. So, so many voices. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going gone? What do we think about it? I didn't like it. We liked it better on the on display. <laughs> <laughs> so for us, this was normal. We get so many clients that come in with their whole family, and everybody in that family wants the girl to try on a different style. So in the end, it could get really confusing for the quinceañera, but at the end of the day, it's what the quinceañera wants, and it's what she gets. <laughs> Looks like you're going to a funeral. <laughs> As soon as I came out with the black dress, none of my family members liked it. They just knew that it wasn't me and that I couldn't rock the dress. I feel like I want to be a princess and not a villain. Never mind. Never mind. Yeah, we're, we're good. Okay. <laughs> All right, dude, next. <laughs> we're going to be Thank back as a princess. <laughs> Let's go. So her uncle wanted her to try on something unique, like a black dress, and her mom wanted the princess perfect royal look, so that was definitely interesting to see. But I'm glad that she ended up finding something that she really loved. Yeah, and that dress looks so nice on Kenya, yeah, so I'm glad she went with what she wanted. So up next we have Danny, and she came in to find her dream dress with her mom, so it was really interesting to see because her mom was super opinionated, and we always get that. We always get moms, especially if they didn't have a quinceañera, then they... I'm going to be that mom. Very yeah. opinionated. Oh my goodness. El color se me hace muy triste para ti y yo estoy pensando un color más triste. Pero es mi quinceaño. Ya lo sé, pero yo también tengo que opinar, sí, obviamente. Sí, pero, ma, yo soy la que voy a poner el vestido, tú no. No, ya tú lo sé. Tú vas a poner tu propio vestido y yo voy a poner el mío. No, y no empieces, si no seas grosera, ¿ok? Oh, my God. O sea. That was interesting to see. No seas grosera. And then she goes, oh my god. <laughs> they, yeah, they want to be involved in everything and even sometimes choose the dress for you, so. No tenemos tanto tiempo, si vas a checar un catalog, va a estar más rápido. Please. Okay. In the end, when Danny got her dress, both her and her mom were so happy to see her in it. Are you ready? Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Come. Are you ready? I'm going to count down to three. One, two, three. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> she looked beautiful and yeah, I feel like that's how it is a lot of times. Moms want to give their opinions and but once they see their daughter like in her dream dress, she just has a different expression on and you know, your mom will fall in love with it too. Yeah, they just want to see you guys happy. And I loved that moment when they were both crying. I thought that was so sweet. So up next we have Annika. And for her, it was a little bit different. She had tried on so many quinta dresses so many different times that it came to a point where she didn't know if she was going to be able to find her dream dress. Uh, no. You don't like it? No. I just think it looked like lingerie on top. So I called in backup, I called in one of Daniela. <laughs> Daniela, I called in Daniela, and she was able to hype her up and make her feel like a princess. It's like literally Annika. It's, oh, it's like Annika. Annika. I it like says see. her name, like yeah, Annika. I'm excited. Annika, come out. Ah, oh. oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Like, doesn't it like is. scream out Annika? She's a That's baddie. So oh my god. Drunk, what are you doing here? Oh, I'm just here to surprise you. Oh Look at you. Wow. It's so beautiful. Wow. It's so pretty. It's like real, becoming real. Once you're so used to it, you just lose that magic. But when you know it's your dream dress, like your perfect dress, you get that magic again. And she definitely did find her dream dress. She found three. <laughs> three, <laughs> dresses. yes. This is definitely my dream dress. The trailer of Ginza Bosses starts in three, two, one. Hi, I'm Gypsy. Hi, I'm Jelsey. I am the creative director of Moda 2000. And I'm the business director of Moda 2000, the one that handles all the money. 
Moda 2000 is the number one quinceanera dress store worldwide. I run everything that you see to help make the store go run smoothly. I'm behind the campaigns, the photo shoots, the fashion shows, everything that has to do with the creative side. I am your girl. We're also international dress consultants. We are actually really popular on social media, on Instagram, on TikTok. We have 1 million point two followers. We are actually trendsetters in this quinceanera industry. Working with my sister has its ups and downs. You'll have to fire her. Are you serious? Right now, they're asking for a lot of rose gold. Really? For me, it's a lot of charro. Me and her really balance each other out. We have such different opinions, but when we bring them together, there's no, there's no stopping us. This season, you guys can definitely expect big dresses, big dreams, and big drama. I don't need a throne to run this I'm my own to run this I'm my own, I run this I'm my own We're so excited for you to see the premiere of our new show, Quince Bosses. Make sure to comment down below what you're most excited about.